Baffins Milton Rovers, a club that came together in 2011 when Baffins and Milton Rovers joined forces. When founded, Rovers were a normal Saturday league team and now we're here five years later and they're now flying high in the Hampshire Premier League and their quest doesn't stop there. With two weeks left of their current season, Baffins are on the brink of the first big step, promotion to the Wessex League First Division under manager Louis Bell and assistant manager Andy Kircher. It's a club fuelled with ambition and driven by its community. For the last moments of their season, I'll be with them every step of the way. And we'll also take a little step back to see how this once upon a time normal Saturday team has become one of the big teams to look out for in the Hampshire football scene. I've come down to the home of Baffins, the Kendall Stadium, ahead of their game against Clamfield in the Hampshire Premier on Saturday to check out their new grounds facilities described by the ground grading committee at Hampshire FA as exemplary. So we're here at the Kendall Stadium in the brand new stand this season, 120 seats. Louis, how does it feel to be stood here looking at Baffins? Oh, it's a great achievement again, as I say, we started from the beginning of the season, early last season, with nothing, um, with Kendall's support. I went and spoke to Nick Kendall, the Kendall group, um, asking for my voice about the ground, and uh, there's no one better that knows the area. And Nick agreed to get involved with us, and uh, he supplied all the concrete, and all the base materials for, for the stand to sit on. Where well, Nick Kendall responsible for, for uh, helping out with the ground and you've got involved in Baffins this season. What made you uh, get involved with the club? Well, I don't, uh, well, I don't know. It's, um, you know, Louis came to see me back in 2014 now with the, uh, the proposal, the plans and what he intended to do. And I thought uh, at the time it was a good idea to get involved. We, we, we at the Canberra Group have been a uh, long established portrait company and I uh, thought it would know, be, be a good opportunity to show our, our uh, appreciation to the local youth of the, of the area. Well, it's a club really on the up and Wessex First Division is the next step for this team, but we're going to have a little look round around the uh, rest of the facilities here at the Kendall Stadium. So Lou, we're here in your brand new uh, dressing room nearly for this season. How does it feel to finally get it all done and you're now playing in it? How does it feel to be a coach in this environment? It's really pleasing, you know, we've had a lot of hard work put into these dressing rooms. Um, they were only portal cabins that we actually bought. Uh, we spoke to Nick Kendall from the Kendall Group and he was um, happy to supply the concrete for these to go on to the bases. It's a great atmosphere on a Saturday before a game. You know, it really gives you a good buzz, gives the players a buzz. Well, should we go take a look at the away one then? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. So hey Dom, this is the uh, away dressing room, again uh, set up, we've got Clanfield Saturday, so this is where they will um, be coming, they'll come in, set this house up, not sort of about 10 there, put a boogie box on or whatever, they'll be having their music, um, set up, obviously the physio's couch, this is one of the uh, things we have to supply to away, the away team, the showers through there. I can see what you mean about it being a little bit nicer. You've got a nice little view behind us. Uh, yeah, as I say, it's, uh, the lads, it's the lads' choice. Yeah. So I've got, to, I've got to bow down to that. So whose idea was the big welcome to Baffin side? So. Oh, that was Andy <laughs> Kirch's sign. You know, so is that a bit of my sign? Yeah, I think it is a little bit. It's, as they open the door, the first thing they see is the Baffin's building. The bets are always just seeing how long it lasts before someone actually tries to tamper <laughs> with it. So. Well, that's how it works for Clamfield on Saturday. Yes. As you can see from the facilities, Baffins are a club with ambition. But what made both Louis and Andy come on board in the first place? Louis and me have been friends for quite a while. He was at Fratton Park when my dad was down there with uh, Dave Hurst. And uh, when I met up with him back at Porchester, you know, I used to go training with the first team, watch them train, watch how Louis presented himself. And um, I passed that down to some of the 14-year-olds because Louis's passion for football is not just about being on the pitch, it's, it's a respect off the pitch as well. So I decided uh, to, to um, come on board with Louis. He brought me down to this ground, the stadium, and it, the, the grass was four and a half foot, five foot tall. And uh, I said to him, so uh, how many years have we got? For this to happen, he said, four months. 
and I laughed at him and walked away. Andy may have laughed and walked away when he first heard the plans, but now here Baffins stand. Four points will guarantee them promotion to the Wessex First Division and win them the title. Clanfield didn't manage to cause any upsets in this one as it was plain sailing for Louis Bell and his men, showing their dominance from the outset. A moment of magic from the one and only Harry Potter was the cherry on the cake for the Rovers, asserting themselves at the top of the league table, making it theirs to throw away. Yeah, you know, eights yeah. come on. So every one of you needs to have a pat on the back. Come on, boys. Yeah. Every one of you needs to have a pat on the back. We will win this f***ing league. We will win this league. And the reason you will win the league, because the effort that you, you, I ain't taking credit for it, you put in. So, Louis, good result tonight? Yeah, ex track. excellent result. I thought we started well the first 20 minutes. Um, I think we got a bit sloppy when the lads, the lads sometimes think, think it's too easy. Uh, you get them back in, in, in the uh, dressing room at half time. Not the right act, but you try and sort of tell them as it is. And they come back out the second half and they perform like that. And again, I thought some of the football we played tonight and some of the goals we scored is terrific. One more point and you're there. How does that feel? Yeah, it's good. I'm still trying to keep the boys' feet on the floor. As I say, it's two games. Football's a funny game. Seems it, you know, seem funny things happen. We go to list, plenty of confidence Saturday, hopefully. Um, we get something at list, and then we've obviously we're home to Headley on the Wednesday. So when you do look at the stadium you're in now, this fantastic turnaround in just a year, like you said, how does that make you feel? Well, I've said to Andy, when you look around, you've got to take so much pride of what you've done here. Um, we couldn't have done it without Andy's help. And also, as I said, there's a few sponsors, uh, Dean Morat from Pro Solution. Not only the uh, effort they put in, but the knowledge and also the time that they put in themselves. When I asked Andy to come in, I know uh, Andy's pedigree and his family's pedigree, and they're football orientated. And to me, that really sort of nailed it. As Louis touched upon, sponsorship is a big deal for a football club at this level. I've come down to the club today as they announced their latest sponsor, Cassio and Red Lounge. One of the owners at the Tapas restaurant, Kaz, explained why he felt like Baffins was the right fit for them. Uh, we are a community restaurant, they're a really community club, so yeah, we've got a similar thing in mind. I think the guys are working really hard. Um, I could see uh, what they've achieved and what the potential is, so yeah, I think they're doing great. That's enough from off the pitch. The Rovers were back in action on the pitch as they face fourth place Liss Athletic away at Newman Collard. Liss being one of the better teams in the league, Louis and his players knew this wasn't going to be a straightforward task, despite going a goal up early on through a long range effort from Potter. The Wizard was at it again as a goal mouse scramble ended up with the ball at his feet and him firing into the roof of the net. Liss replied with a goal of their own before half time, leaving Baffins a little nervous in the second half. Needing only a point to seal the title was bound to be on their minds, but it didn't faze them as they extended their 2-1 lead to three, resulting in maximum points and the Hampshire Premier League title. He done loads for us on the ground, on the pitch as well. Everyone's worked tirelessly to get the ground together, got that done, and then the boys done it on the pitch today. Do you think that that's been a big part of it? So the team bonding, the team spirit in the um, in the club to really push your head to get the title. Yeah, I mean we've got good players anyway. Last year we come second, season four we come first, so there's no doubt that we were going to be in the top two. It was out of us, Hamble, maybe Otterbourne. List got a decent team, but they faded off towards the end. But I think to be honest, there's only going to be one team that's going to win the league, and that's Baffins, isn't it? Well, what is the plan from here? Upwards and onwards, really. You know, there is no I in team. We have worked as a team, from the management all the way down to, I don't know, even parents coming on board, doing teas and coffees. You know, my son comes down to the ground and helps out. And it, the volunteers, what we got as a com as not as a company, but as a as a community, you know, we've gone out this week. We've designed a program ready for the Moneyfields game, and some of the stuff what we've done behind the scenes, no one ever knows about. But it's getting our name out there, and what you see is just the start. 
yeah you know I look around what we what we've achieved in a year and then I look at places like Porchester where I was and born, born and bred in Porchester and where they've come from a grass field to where they are now sky's the limit with Baffins because we are all dedicated for the club so that's it guys our two week stint here at Baffins Milton Rovers has come to an end guys you're now Wessex one managers how's it feel yeah, it's terrific. The lads have worked really hard, as I say, all season, and it's come to the culmination of us winning the Hampshire Premier League, and rightfully so. Obviously, the best teams always finish up at the top, and uh, win it, promoted now to Wessex One, and uh, onwards and upwards, hopefully. Well, we wish Baffins all the best. Keep track of them, guys. They're a fantastic football club and one to look out for on the Hampshire football scene. Thank you very much for having us, guys. Terrific for all your Thank support. You. Now, what's the Oh,